Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 34 here, bringing you guys the Call of Duty 4 gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it because this is probably the uh, one of the things that's gonna bring you, you know, the good old memories of Call of Duty. Because now we're moving on to a futuristic game, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Pretty much, um, I don't know, guys. It's very different to uh, what I usually play. I mean, I usually like to run around the ground, uh, pretty much calling in the kill streaks that I want, and uh, using modern weapons and now we're moving on to the future where we have lasers and fucking, I don't know, jetpacks and all this stuff. I mean, I saw the trailer, guys. I saw the trailer, and what I saw I didn't like at all. I went off at Twitter, you know, I, I called it so many fucking names. I was, like, going at it. I really didn't like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, how it looked or anything. And I'm already planning on not even buying it at all. Like, I'm being for reals, guys. I promise you guys, there's no way there's going to be a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay shown here in my channel there's no way I'm no longer supporting Call of Duty after what I saw I mean my kind of style is modern what you guys see right now guys on your on your, on your screen that's what I want to show that's exactly what I want to work on Call of Duty that's what Call of Duty is the hell is this futuristic stuff if I wanted to play futuristic games I would have gone to Halo and uh, Killzone Titanfall especially Titanfall since it just looks like a freaking DLC from Titanfall Without the Titans, of course. So, I don't know, guys. After watching the trailer, I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know if I should continue this. Not even with invitations from Miss Dead Witch, Ghost Girl Cam, or Epic Ninja Girl HD from my group. And not even invitation from my group. I'll, I'll even buy the game. The only way I'm thinking, like, the only way you can convince me in buying the game is if somebody gives me 50 bucks, 40 bucks, or something, and I go buy it. I'll put in the rest of the 10 bucks. Because there's no way that that game deserves my 50 bucks. There's no way, or 60 bucks, which is gonna be the complete price. Um, 69.99, 60 bucks, whatever, 59.99. Um, I don't think this game deserves my money, cause that's not what I wanted. Like, <laughs> hell no. A lot of people are gonna be defending this game, of course, cause a lot of people are gonna be like, well, it's something new to the game, to the franchise, blah blah. Uh, I know it's gonna bring like in like a lot of new audience audiences, but like. You're going to lose the major of your audience since most of your audience was based around uh, modern combat, modern weapons, you know, the modern army style games. And um, you're going to lose most of your fan base. I think you are, uh, you know, Activision. After pulling this off, I'm like, Jesus, you didn't need to copy Titanfall. And I know, I know a lot of people can be saying, well, this game was already in development for three years. I know that, but like, they had chances to change multiplayer. We didn't, the, the jetpacks are completely unnecessary. Come on, double jump? No falling damage? Like, keep your asses on the ground, man. We got a bunch of flying fucks going around now. If I would've played the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the reason why I said if I would've played, is because I'm not actually getting guys. I'm not, I'm not getting the game at all. I promise you that. That's a fucking promise. I'm not getting that game. So, but, if I would've played that game, I would've called every jumping guy, that flying fuck. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, most of the time here in Call of Duty, the regular ones, uh, we, I pretty much call the enemies uh, fatties. You know, I'm just going to call these guys flying fucks because they're just jumping around and fly looking like they're all flying and stuff. Completely unnecessary, guys. It was completely unnecessary to add jetpacks into the freaking game. How are you guys going to play Search and Destroy now? <laughs> Nobody's going to be staying still. Everybody's going to be jumping around. So, Search and Destroy is going to be a whole completely game, different complete game. TDM also, nobody's going to be camping. That's another thing, campers are going to be no longer around, I'm thinking. But since what I saw from the weapons, I'm guessing it's going to be one-shot kills now. Or, I don't know how it's going to work, but... I don't know, guys. This game is a big no for me, and I'm not going for it. I already said it on Twitter, I said it several times. Fuck this game. Fuck Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Alright, I'm not convinced. <laughs> That's not my style. I told you guys so many times, it's not my style. If I wanted to play a futuristic game, I would, as I said guys, I would have played Halo. I would have actually bought the Xbox One for Halo 5. So, no. Completely, it's, it's a complete no for me guys. So, um, no more game, well, gameplay is actually, yes. From Call of Duty, from Call of Duty 4 all the way to Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2, I'll think about it because it's mostly quicksilvers anyways. So, anyways, guys, the video's about to end. Hopefully, you guys understand my opinion about this game and the asshole host of this freaking game, uh, freaking quit.
Oh, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't even know what the hell that happens. We don't need hosts. It's a freaking public server. So anyways, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me your opinion about Call of Duty Events Warfare. I would like to know what it is. So, anyways, fuck Call of Duty Events Warfare.